Broccoli is considered to be an exotic vegetable and not very often we use it in Indian recipes. And today, I'm going to show you a very sumptuous desi version using broccoli. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani. Welcome to Rajshri Food and let's begin with the recipe for tandoori broccoli. So the first step is cleaning of the broccoli. So cut the broccoli into big florets. And I also clean it slightly further. I just peel off the skin of the stem. So this helps in cooking the broccoli very quickly. After you finish cleaning the florets, make sure you rinse them thoroughly. And I've also rinsed over here around 200 grams of broccoli florets. If you're making this recipe in a large quantity for a bunch of people, I have a few tips for you. So stay tuned till the end. I have a pot of water boiling over here and the florets are also ready and we are going to boil this for exactly 2 minutes by the clock. After 2 minutes, turn off the flame and quickly remove the florets and put it in an ice bath. Putting the broccoli florets in an ice bath basically stops the cooking process and also helps in retaining the colour. While the florets are cooling down, let's quickly make the marination. So I have over here half a cup of hung curd. Basically, just take curd, put it in a sieve with a bowl at the bottom and keep it in the refrigerator for at least a good 4-5 to five hours to let all the water drain. And then, we're going to add in all the other ingredients. 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder 1 teaspoon of garam masala or you can even use tandoori masala, whatever you have handy. Half a teaspoon of black salt. Half a teaspoon of chaat masala. Go a little easy on salt since we've already added chaat masala and black salt. 1 teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste. 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. Next, I'm going to add in 2 to 3 tablespoons of roasted gram flour. You can adjust the quantity of gram flour as per the consistency of the curd. So if you feel there's too much moisture, add a little more. 1 tablespoon of oil. Preferably use mustard oil because mustard oil gives a nice punch to this marination. Mix all the ingredients of the marination properly. And now into this, I'm going to add in the broccoli florets. Make sure you drain out all the water from the florets. You can use any of these vegetables in this marination like boiled baby corn, cauliflower, potatoes, bell peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions and even paneer. Use your hands to coat the broccoli nicely with all the marination. Once the florets are nicely coated, Keep them in the refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes. These florets are now ready to be grilled. So I have a steel skewer over here. This is a basically a tikka skewer. You get it very easily or it's even available with the ovens that you have at home. And now we're going to skew every broccoli floret. Be very careful, don't break it. Skew the florets in such a way that they are well balanced on the skewer. Make sure you stick all the florets to each other. And now I'm going to grill them directly on the flame and use a small burner to grill them. Let's turn on the flame. Keep the flame on medium and now let's start grilling these. With the help of a spoon, just rotate the broccoli pieces so that they grill properly from all the sides. Once the broccolis are nicely charred from all around, remove them in a plate. Once you get them out from the skewer, sprinkle some chaat masala immediately. In the same way, let's skew the remaining broccolis. Keep the flame on medium and now let's start grilling these. Once the broccolis are nicely charred from all around, remove them in a plate. Sprinkle some chaat masala. As you all saw how easy and effortless this recipe was, the maximum time that goes is in the grilling. That's about it. And now time to plate. 
So do try this recipe and let me know how it turned out. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. If you do not have the time to marinate the vegetables for 30 minutes, just skip it. And if you're making it for a larger quantity, you can even marinate the vegetables and keep them in the refrigerator for a good two to three hours. You can grill all the broccoli florets in advance. All you need to do is warm them in the oven for five minutes and not in the microwave. 